Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you this simple brown smoky eye look. This look is super easy to achieve and perfect for a night out or anytime you want to look extra sultry. So enough talking, let's jump right into this tutorial. First I'm going to start off by priming my face using the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. I love this stuff. Then I'm going to be hiding my under eye bags with the NYX correcting concealer. This is one of my favorites. You guys know this by now. Next, I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. This stuff is amazing and I've been loving it this month, but it isn't my correct shade. What I've been doing is I've been taking these lightning drops. They're the shade adjusting drops from the body shop. And I've just been adding about two to three drops. These also come in a darkening shade if you need to darken up your foundation, which is great, especially for me for the summertime because I'm gonna need to darken up my winter foundations. And I just add about two to three drops into the foundation and I swirl it around and it will lighten the foundation a half a shade for each drop so I lightened my foundation about um, a shade to a shade and a half using these drops as you can see that's much closer to my skin tone than it was before this foundation is so amazing and paired with this elf brush it is just a dream on my skin this is the best drugstore foundation I have used and I usually do favor drugstore foundations for every day over high-end foundations I feel like drugstore foundations don't settle into fine lines and they last a little bit longer than high-end foundations for me lately but this elf brush is bay. next I'm going in with concealer I'm going to be using the Maybelline age rewind concealer this is my first time really using this. I've been using it for the past week or so, and I've really been liking it. I've seen a lot of people use it, but I've never tried it, and I really like the sponge tip applicator. And then just to warm it up, because it was a little more ashy than I liked, I added my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I just can't get away from this concealer, as you guys know. And then I'm just going to blend that in with my Beauty Blender. Sorry, it's dirty, I just used it earlier today, but I'm just going to be blending that all underneath my eyes and I'm going to be also blending that on my eyelid because I'm going to use this concealer as a eyeshadow primer later on. Now I'm going to set everywhere I put the concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I love this stuff. I'm going to be using this on a little sponge and I'm just going to be placing that underneath my eyes. I've noticed that this little sponge really gets underneath my eyes and makes sure my foundation stays in place all day. I am dusting that off underneath my eyes because it can be a little too drying. Next I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder and I'm just going to be setting the remainder of my face and buffing that out with a Real Techniques buffing brush. I did my brows off camera with Anastasia Beverly Hills per usual and I'm going to be going into the Lorac Pro Palette. This is an oldie but a goodie and I'm going to be taking this taupe shade and I'm just going to be placing that into my crease with a big fluffy brush. I'm just going to be buffing that out. It doesn't have to be too neat because I'm going to be going in with sable and I'm just going to be placing that all over my lid. We just were using that taupe shade as a nice transition for when we placed this on the lid. And then I'm also going to be taking that sable shade on the same brush and I'm going to be buffing that into the crease. Just make sure it's buffed out, no harsh lines. You just wanna blend, 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 blend until your hand cramps. And now I'm going in with espresso. I'm going to be taking that in a C shape on the outer corner of my eyes. I'm just going to go in a C and then I'm going to be buffing that along my lash line to darken up the look. And then once that is in place, I'm going to be going back in with my blending brush and I'm just going to be buffing everything out. Again, blend, 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 blend. You can never blend too much and I'm just going to be blending all of those shades together so it's a nice gradient. Next, I'm going to line my lower lash line with sable and I'm going to blend it out with taupe and I'm just taking this Sigma blending brush and I'm just going to be buffing that along my lower lash line. You really want to buff this out on your lower lash line. You want a nice blurred effect on the lower lash line so you want to blend, blend, blend. Then I'm going to tight line my eyes as well as line my waterline with just a simple black coal eyeliner. Thank you. 
and I'm going to be going in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in a deeper shade and I'm just going to be bronzing my face, buffing that in to the hollows of my cheeks, along my chin, and on my hairline. Now I'm going to be going in with the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray and this really just sets my foundation in place all day. You could spray water all over your face and this stuff is not going anywhere. Now I'm applying Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. And I'm going to be applying a coat of mascara. This is the Makeup Forever Mascara. I got it in a sample and I'm a big fan of this mascara. Now I am taking Peach Twist Blush from MAC. I need to switch up my blushes guys, so if you know any good blushes, please let me know. I am looking to try some new ones. And I'm just going to be lining my lips with Nutmeg Lip Liner from NYX. This is a great everyday, just very natural lip liner. Once I have lined my lips, I'm going to be using the NYX Lingerie Lip Cream, and it is in the shade Push Up. And I'm just going to be placing that all over my lips, getting rid of that chunk. Here is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this simple, smoky eye look. I love using the Lorac Pro Palette. It is one of my all-time favorites. Definitely don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button on your way out if you aren't subscribed to me already. I upload new videos every week. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.